Namaste and welcome to Dragonfly Cookery and Knives. I'm going to introduce to you two new cookeries that we're going to be adding to our website this year in 2021. First one I'm going to show you is a project that I and, uh, I and Baroon Borelli uh, worked on together. We actually started this, uh, this one uh, in 2020 during the COVID time and I wanted to do a really uh, I wanted to see what he would come up with when we try to tackle a MK5 style cookery of the Cold War era. And so uh, I gave him my design, uh, kind of the, the dimensions and everything that I wanted. And then he got busy and came up with this absolutely fantastic MK5 of the Cold War era. It's absolutely beautiful. And... Uh, of course, it, you know, there's no big learning curve on this. He's been building these uh, in his sleep for a long time. So uh, this is actually a, a rather quite traditional looking MK5 of the Cold War era. And what, what we're talking about in the Cold War era is we're talking about from uh, the, the early 1950s all the way up to the early 1990s. This was the design of the British standard issue that was given to the Gurkhas with the British units. Um, this is the style of cookery that was used uh, during the Falkland Wars. Now, I have a, quite a few of this pattern and design on our website already, so you may be wondering why in the world will I wanna add another one? Um, the reason is because the other ones that I have, it's they're done by, um, my other two blacksmiths I work with, Neem Tanji and Raju Borelli, which are excellent and outstanding. And uh, Neem Tanji and I have also worked on a couple variations with slight new design nuances that kind of make them a little bit uh, more updated of that pattern for uh, today's usage for a working cookery. Uh, but I didn't have one from Baroon Borelli, and he is such a fantastic uh, uh, blacksmith. I just was dying to find out what he would come up with. So this is the MK5 of the Cold War era that Baroon Borelli uh, put together for me, and he included uh, my logo stamp on it. So this is one that you will be able to find very soon on our website. It will come with wood handles or this a beautiful horn handle and the handle material that he selected for this has such beautiful marbling it's just absolutely exquisite and uh, it has the brass furnishings as the original would have this is a high polish so this one could almost be the parade version although it is a highly functional cookery uh, we won't be doing uh, well, I don't know maybe we might um, do a satin version along with the high polish and come up with a, a really um, high grade uh, scabbard as this for the parade version, and then um, a more working scabbard for taking it out and uh, using it in the field. But uh, the scabbard that he did for this is um, really, really great. And I'm gonna put the cookery back in and uh, show you that it, it has great retention. The a uh, small utility knife and carta, uh, the carta and chakmak don't fall out, neither does the, the cookery, yet it is very easy to take in and take out. So he does a really fantastic job in solving some of the issues that we have with the scabbards that don't have really good retention. So this one's excellent for that. Uh, comes with the military belt frog, but it also has the patuka buttons on it. Now I haven't really tried to slide this off, but it does come off as you can see. So you could actually have this on your belt and remove the cookery and set it down on the side uh, when you're wearing the frog system. And um, just don't forget to pick up your cookery and put it back in before you leave. Otherwise you're gonna leave it behind. And a bell frog without a cookery is just a bell frog. <laughs> Anyways. It comes with a, a, a nice, decent size uh, chakmak with horn handle and also a uh, relatively small but functional 
Carta. It does have a Scandi grind on it. It is sharp, it's hardened steel, and it, it, it does work. And um, it is of the appropriate size for what would have come with the original uh, kit. This one also comes with a tender pouch. And what I really like about his tender pouches, I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to show you and talk a little bit about it. This would be the actual little uh, piece that you might uh, actually put some tender in. Um, sometimes I find that this is a little too stiff. The way that you soften that up is just sticking in some uh, mink oil, let it soak, and then kind of massage it with your hands to loosen it up and then it will become real soft and, and uh, more pliable for you to use. But what I also really like about the quality of the leather that he used on this uh, cookery scabbard is a very excellent um, cowhide, or not cowhide, um, my apologies, buffalo hide. Uh, cows are sacred, they, we would never make anything with uh, cow leather. But in this case, it is really excellent grade quality um, uh, buffalo hide, and it's very soft. If you didn't want to use this part, you still could use this pouch and be able to fit tinder in it and be able to get your fingers in there and pull it out. It's very soft and subtle, and this is how all of them should be on all cookeries. So for us at uh, Dragonfly Cookery and Knives, this is the pattern that I'm going to be following for the other cookeries, even with the other makers. I know Neem Tanji has been uh, upgrading his leather on his scabbards that are soft like this and easier to use. Um, that it make it a very useful and relevant um, um, aspect of your system here. So excellent cookery. Look for it on our website. It's going to be called the Cold War, Cold War Era MK5 by Barun Borelli for Dragonfly Cookery and Knives. This will be exclusively on our website. The next one I'm going to show you is um, a cookery that um, uh, Roger Borelli uh, put together for me. He found an old little Hanchi style cookery um, and was shown it to me from his, his um, um, place that he works, his shop. And when I saw it, I thought, wow, that's really cool. And I said, why don't we build something on that? So this is what he came up with. And uh, what I'm introducing here is the, um, the Firefly. The reason why I called it the fire, Firefly is because it's a very small cookery. When you look at this, you're going to think it probably was made or designed for a child or maybe a woman. And definitely this could be a lady's cookery very easily. But it is also um, very trail friendly for people who want to take a uh, cookery backpacking or out on a uh, day hike, this is a very, very excellent cookery to take along. It does not uh, weigh too much. And let me see if I can get the scale working here. And I'll give you what it, uh, what it comes in at. So this particular cookery in grams comes out to 382 grams. So it's a very light cookery. With the cart and chalk muck and the entire kit, the weight comes in at uh, 664 grams. So the whole entire kit weighs as much as some cookeries do outside of their scabbard. So this is a very light and very uh, trail friendly type cookery. Yet it is also light enough and slim enough to where you could use this in the kitchen if you wanted to and, and process in your food or out in a camp. Uh, campsite you could definitely it's it's of a, a not too cumbersome of a blade to actually be able to, to get in and perhaps flay a fish or get in there and do some skinning or uh, doing any type of uh, bushcraft has a scandy grind it's a flat flat grind all the way down to a, a scandy bevel with a convex edge and uh, this is a, a really sharp light beautiful cookery it has a half tang it comes in, so there's no, it doesn't uh, come through uh, the butt of the, of the um, handle here. We can make it with a butt plate and a stick tang. Uh, we probably could even make a full tang version of this, although that would add a little bit more weight to it. 
what we have done right here, and the, the original had two pins right up at the handle here. And so we uh, followed the, in the reproduction of this, of that particular blade, by adding those two pins there. And those pins do go through the tank, so it does strengthen the tank. This is not going to come loose at any time in our lifetime. Um, it's a, a really beautiful cookery, and always remember with Dragonfly cookery and knives, we can always uh, take your hand size and match the handle grip to fit your hand properly for this cookery or any of our cookeries. So this is um, our smallest cookery that we make to date, and it is called the Firefly. Now, it comes with a full-size uh, Carta, so I have a four inch blade with a three inch handle. So this is a very functional and relevant little camp tool that you would use for processing your food, doing any uh, feather sticks, bush, bushcraft things, because it has a Scandi grind with a nice little convex edge. It is hardened steel, so it will uh, take and hold a very sharp edge for a period of time. Also, it comes with uh, a full steel chakmuk that uh, has texturing on both sides. One is more aggressive, which is great for creating fuzz off of wood. And then you have a fa file size, uh, file side that you could uh, take out any rolled or chipped edges. You just move it along the side and uh, it would facilitate that way. Good 90 degree spine on it. So you could throw sparks off of a, a ferro rod or if you didn't have one, a river rock strong point where you could do a bow drill divot if you wanted to use friction heat, if you didn't have any other means or ways to start a fire. Also comes with your tender pouch, just like, uh, um, and this one's a good size one. And remember, if you soak it in the mean coil and work with it, it will loosen up and allow you to easily put in your tender and hold it. And then it just slides into the little pouch on the back. Now this one, is a little bit more stiffer than the other one I showed you, but yet it's still made with very good leather. And again, what I uh, suggest that you do with any uh, scabbard that you get is um, it's made out of wood and leather, and that leather is buffalo hide or yak hide. And what you can do to preserve it, to waterproof it, and also to get it to soften up uh, like these pouches in the back is soak it in some mink oil or neat's foot oil and um, and then kind of massage it with your hand, your fingers, and that'll loosen up and it makes it easier to access for putting in your tender pouch or uh, fitting uh, items in there that you would want to hold in that pouch. But it is a functional part of this scabbard system and this entire system um, where you have a complete kit uh, to take out in the field with you. So look for these. These are going to be added to the website. This one's the Firefly. And uh, the next, the other one is the, um, this one is the Cold War Era MK5. Barun Borelli and Raju Borelli, all going to be exclusively found on our website at Dragonfly Cookery and Knives. Now, one last uh, knife I'm going to show you. We did a project earlier this year for a person who had a Victorian era uh, cookery that he wanted me to reproduce. And he was wanting it to be rep reproduced almost exactly like the one that he had, but with just maybe a little bit longer handle to fit his hand and uh, maybe just a little bit lighter, more useful, useful blade. So we did that. And um, I've been getting a lot of requests and, and great comments from people who would be interested in seeing us do a Victorian era uh, cookery that matches um, those of that era that you could purchase. Um, so this year we're going to be working on this project where I'm going to be taking from my collection, I have quite a vast collection of Victorian era uh, cookery. So I'm going to find the one and there may be this one because I really like the shape of this one. Um, it may be this one and we will reproduce it and have it available on our website. So be looking for this one. Uh, when I do get the prototype, I, of course, I'll be making a video to show you guys, but this one will be the Victorian era. Um, 
I also will probably, I've gotten permission from the gentleman that I uh, did for his own private collection. Uh, he's been su getting such great, uh, great responses on it that I asked him if he wouldn't mind if I reproduced that one again and he, he gave me permission to do so and that one will bear his name because it is based off of his Victorian era cookery from his collection and we worked together on it so um, in the design of it so we're co-designing we uh, co-designers on that that project and uh, it's going to bear his name so look for these this is coming up in this year of 2021 I hope that you found this interesting. I've whet your appetite on some of the new projects. We still have other ones that are uh, I've already introduced to you. They're going to end up on our website. I'm just waiting for those prototypes with the corrections to come back to me and so I can add them to our website. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. Please like and subscribe on my YouTube channel and leave any comments there. And also feel free to leave any comments at my uh, site on Blue Dragonfly Training Post on Facebook. And, and I do read all those messages. I love your comments and questions. And by all means, please visit our website at Dragonfly Cookery and Knives where you can find new and very useful product like these wonderful cookeries by Barun Borelli and Roger Borelli. And no, they're not related. <laughs> they share the same last name, but they're not. They're brothers of another mother, but they are, they are both master uh, blacksmiths. They live in different parts of Nepal, and I don't think either gentleman has ever met each uh, one another. So uh, they don't know, uh, know each other personally. Uh, they are aware of each other's work because they, of course, they work with me. And also they, um, they watch the postings on Facebook like all of us. So uh, Raju Borelli, he works exclusively with Dragonfly Cookery and Knives. He's my brother from another mother, very close friend and very, uh, uh, we, we think alike and do a lot alike uh, in, in our creative aspects. So he's just, he's a wonderful, wonderful blacksmith. And Barun Borelli, who's also uh, the owner of Ko Tang Cookery Handicrafts is um, also the gentleman who has agreed to work with me on various different products. I'm also his U.S. representative of a lot of his cookery. So if you see anything that he does and you would like it and you live in the United States, you can, uh, if it isn't on my website, you can still message me and I can uh, see about getting them to you because he and I are very close friends. Again, another brother from another mother. Um, very, very good friend, very uh, excellent gentleman, and a master uh, blacksmith. Just a, uh, And he has a whole team of guys that are just outstandingly excellent. So with that all being said, visit my website and you'll find these wonderful products by these gentlemen that are master blacksmiths. Thank you very much for watching. Namaste and God bless.